Hello everyone, welcome back to our latest Marvel Puzzle Quest video. In our previous video, we took a look at starting the game and briefly touched on acquiring new characters and leveling them up. So in this one, we'll look more closely at your roster and discuss what you can do to build and level up effectively as you move through the story and beyond. Let's get to it. While this sounds fairly obvious, it's worth noting that the key to building your roster from just a few scattered characters to a formidable force is acquiring new heroes and helping them get stronger. This can be done through several methods that we'll touch on shortly, but the easiest and most effective way to recruit early on is simply to fight your way through the prologue chapters. These battles reward you with character covers, upgrade materials, and more and many of them are repeatable with multiple rewards to earn. So this is a natural way to grow your team while experiencing Marvel Puzzle Quest's excellent story. The resources earned can be used to upgrade the heroes that you're unlocking along the way, which in turn helps raise your shield level and earn more rewards to get more heroes. So this cycle is extremely beneficial during this phase of the game. In addition to the prologue chapters, you can earn covers, resources, and rewards through several other gameplay modes as well. The Shield Resupply is a daily login bonus that grants you a reward each day, so it's always worth grabbing this. As your shield rank grows, you'll unlock daily quests that grant you ISO 8 as well as occasional recruit tokens, which can be redeemed for covers on the recruit screen. On this screen, you can also see milestone quests and, on occasion, events. Milestones are account-wide accomplishments that grant you a wide array of rewards once completed, many of which will accrue naturally as you play the game, while event quests are tied to the many events in Marvel Puzzle Quest and function in the same manner as dailies. Be sure to check the quest screen often and collect these well-earned rewards as they can build up quickly as you play. In regard to those events, they're yet another way to build and level your roster. Both story mode and featured events unlock as your shield rank grows and are timed sets of missions that get progressively harder as they go, but have a high amount of replayability due to the varied rewards earned after each battle. Repeating each of these battles until all rewards have been found is paramount to keeping your ISO 8 stock replenished and a steady stream of tokens and covers coming in. So be sure to rotate between the prologue and any active events to make the most of them each day. Versus is another fantastic way to both earn rewards and grow your collection of heroes. Versus is a player versus player mode where you fight against other player teams, either in the more controlled combat simulator or through PvP events. Even if pitting your might against other players isn't something you usually focus on, it's highly recommended that you dip your toe into the versus mode every now and again to reap the rewards of your efforts, as they can add up quickly alongside the non-PvP content. Of particular note to new players are the Lightning Rounds that run every Tuesday through Thursday. These events run for a short time, then restart, giving out new progression and placement rewards each time. Just a win or two in a few of these can give quick boosts to your ISO 8 and level up your characters. Once you have rewards coming in steadily, you may be tempted to spend them all on your current team to level them as high as possible, or use all your recruit tokens to expand your roster and moveset. But there are a few factors to consider first as you plan for your team's future. Some resources may be better to save for later use when you need just a little more to level a character or power. As an example, standard recruit tokens, which offer a chance to unlock 1, 2, and 3 star characters, are an excellent resource to use at any time and can give you new characters or covers to level up your powers for quite some time after starting out. Legendary tokens, however, allow you to open legendary packs that reward you with a 4 star character or higher. While this sounds like a great addition to your early team, it might not be something you can well utilize or level early on, so these may be best served for future use, especially since you'll have opportunities to add 3-star and higher characters through gameplay. 
Similar to this, spending all your hero points on recruiting will do you little good if you have no roster spots for them, as earned but unrostered covers only last for 14 days before disappearing. So you may wish to focus on spending your hero points on roster slots first and filling them out later. Opportunities for covers are abundant, but roster space is precious indeed. Also, consider keeping a strong core team but leveling your 1 and 2 star characters first and leave the higher tier characters for later. It's not only more cost effective for a large amount of the prologue and early to mid story, but will make it easier for you to focus on gaining specific covers down the line when championing your characters, which raises their level beyond the default limit and helps you gain higher tiers of covers. Since championing is time and resource intensive, it's more of a mid to late game focus that we'll discuss in a future video. But for now, know that concentrating your leveling efforts on lower tiers first can greatly benefit you in the long run. Unlike a lot of games with tiered characters, Marvel Puzzle Quest often has events or missions within events that specifically use lower tiered characters, so it's yet another good reason to keep those around. Finally, let's discuss shards, an excellent way to earn new characters as you play and level your existing teams. Once you reach shield rank 7 and unlock the ability to mark characters as favorites, you can select them to earn shards that can be used to recruit that character, upgrade one of their powers, or add a champion level. These shards are colorless, so they can be used to level any power and are earned with each token use so be sure to set your favorite characters as soon as this is unlocked. You can mark any 3-star or higher character as a favorite from your roster screen, even if you don't have them recruited yet, so this is an excellent way to passively level characters while focusing on others. Feel free to reach for the stars here, as there are many characters waiting for you to unlock. As you can see, there are numerous ways to earn new characters and level them up. Much of these are organic and rewarded as you play, while some are decisions you'll have to make to build your teams to your liking. In the end, Marvel Puzzle Quest allows you to customize your teams as you see fit while paving the way for your future needs. As long as you keep your goals in sight, you'll soon have a roster filled with heavy-hitting heroes and amazing powers. In our next video, we'll be taking a closer look at the synergy between your characters in battle and some tips on building your teams to make the most of their strengths. Keep on fighting the good fight, and we'll see you then.